Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and this is the new Matter Mod T printer. It's, it's printing right now. How did we get to this point? Well, first, let's, let's unbox this printer with my daughter, Riley. Hey everyone, this is Riley. She's gonna help me unbox the new Matter Mod T. And in order to do that, I'm gonna open the box and take things out, and then she's gonna tell you what they are. You ready? Yeah. It says to open it this way. This up. Ooh, mod, it's got a quick start guide on the front. It's attached. Let's see if we can take it off. Okay, good. Oh, and it's got the list of things in the box. Cool. All right. Well, this should be, look at this. We just slide it out. <coughs> you okay? Okay. This is styrofoam. You know that, right? And here's what we can do. We just put it right down there. Look at that. What is that? Glass, right? Maybe. Or plastic. It's probably plastic. Yeah. There we go. I'll put it over here. That's box A. This is box B, and that's box C. I'm taking off lots of styrofoam. <laughs> Which is great. We can leave the bottom styrofoam. Oh, okay. Yeah. But these boxes, though. Are those like parts for the printer? I don't know. Oh, we probably know what's in box A. What is that? Filament! <laughs> that's right. Let's see. Pink filament or Ooh. magenta. You want, I don't know. You want to show the camera? Pretty filament. Can you set it back here, please? Uh, let's see. There's no window in this box, so we'll have to open it for you to see what's inside. Okay. What is that? Um, it looks like a part for the printer, maybe? It is a part for the printer. That's right. You want to just leave it at that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here, last box, box C. C like cat. Oh, we can't see in there. All right. It's just plain old black. What does that say? Uh, new matter. New matter. Okay, and it's just it's just that. You want to hold on to that? Is this like the thing that it gets printed on? Maybe. I don't know. Let me see that for a sec. I bet that goes like that. There we go. Well, we'll leave this part in the styrofoam. How about that? Mm -hmm. And in fact, we'll take this and we'll put it back in the styrofoam as well. Is there room over there for both of them? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Here's the list of everything it came with. What do you recognize that we took out? What is that? Okay, what is that? The filament. So remember that thing? Yeah. What is it? A spool holder. Is that for the filament? It's for the filament. Oh. And that thing and this thing, what does that say? The print surface plate. That's right, so you were right. High five. Oh, and it's got some tools there. Yeah. Good, okay. Well now we gotta get this out of there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can put that in the trash. I'll lift it up. Oh, it's light. Here, you want to hold it? Look at that. You're strong. Yeah. Set up your mod on top of the box. Oh, look. Look at that. There's the tools. That's cool. Is there a room over there? Okay. Here's a book. Let's see. This is the user manual, so we need to keep that. Yes. Very well, here, will you hold the printer, please? And I will move the box out of the way. It feels lighter than before when I held it. Well, that's 
probably got less stuff in it. Go ahead and set it down. Just like that. Let's see, lift up on the side here. And take it out. And put it over there. <laughs> oh, that's, look at that. That's it. We've taken it out of the box. Do we put it together? We'll put it together later. And then it might go in your room. Was that fun? Yeah. Was it neat taking it out of the box and seeing all the stuff? Yeah. Are you excited to find out what it does? Yeah. Me too. Look at this. I believe that goes like that. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's high five. Let's call it good. Uh, Riley's a good helper. I, thank you, Riley, for helping Daddy take out this printer and, and get the boxes all set for, for printing a little bit later. Of course, she's in bed now because it's nighttime, so shh. The printer was fairly easy to set up. Uh, let's see, we, I had to take out the power cord and plug it in. I had to take out the USB cord and plug it in. I had to download an application from the website. That was easy. The application from the website automatically talked to the printer. It updated the firmware and then it connected the printer to my home Wi-Fi. And once that was done, it said I could unplug the USB. The bed was easily put together. It was just a top piece and a little floater piece and then they, they kind of slid in just like that. Filament loading was easy. There's a spool holder that goes on the back and once you take the top uh, tube out of the head there, you load the filament in the back and the filament comes in. Uh, you, it's via a website control. You hit load filament, it talks to the printer. It's, it's kind, of like a, kind of like a Nest thermostat where you have a website that controls a device in your house. And then once, once I decided on something to print, I'm printing a little organizer for the tools that are, that are here. Uh, once you decide to print, you just hit print and the, the website sends it to the printer. And then once this button starts blinking, you click it and then it starts printing. The, the bed itself looks to auto center. You, you just kind of set it in there and it bounces the bed around. Then it finds its center. And that's what's interesting. The head doesn't move, but the bed moves in X and Y with the head, I guess the head moving in Z. There's two, uh, rails on the inside and the bed edges have teeth the rails have teeth and so if the bed's here and it wants to go this way this rail with teeth twists this way and the bed goes that way and again for this direction all the other directions the, the printer itself it was easy to take out of the box it was packaged extremely well the instructions were there to get it kind of going and then you go online to, to do the rest of the instructions. The website is clean, the interface is clean. The printer, even though you've got this plastic bed on little plastic legs kind of sliding across the surface here, it's with this plexiglass on, it's actually quiet. This is um, a more uh, hit print and go printer. This is more of a, a device that actually sits on the kitchen counter rather than a tinkering device that sits in your office or in the shop. So I'm, I'm kind of interested in how well this works. I'm interested in how well a child can use this because I'm going to have my kids definitely try this out. All right, well, I'm just going to let it print here and hopefully in the morning I wake up to a really cool piece. Hey, good morning. It's the next day. That's Great, I'm all ready for the day. I thought I would check the print here and oh man, something isn't right. Let's take off the cover, put it aside. So the print itself is done, but it's, it's interesting. All right, we can take the build plate out and then the build plate itself slides. And then we can I assume we can put some forces on it. All right, there we go. Here's the print. Uh, it looks like it's a bit furry. I don't know if that's a issue with the filament itself, if that's an issue with the temperature or the retraction. The model, it's not smooth on the sides. It's like it's textured, but it wasn't textured in the picture, so I don't know what's going on. The printer itself doesn't have a filament fan, so it can't cool the filament as it's laying it's down. That's not necessarily uh, a nail in its coffin, so to speak, but I'm, I'm not impressed with this print, and I was expecting better from this printer, so I do have some investigation to do. But for now, this is what we got. I guess, you know, if you have this printer, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you print with it or what you think of it. 
Uh, if you have any suggestions for models to try on this printer, please let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to clean this up and just uh, keep printing with this purpley pinky PLA. With that in mind, don't forget, hug each other more often, because I love you guys. As always, high five.